At least by now you have it heard or at least heard about the uh, now tropical storm barrel, but a category one hurricane, the first of the Atlantic hurricane season that made landfall within the continental United States just off into areas of southeastern Texas. Right now we have at least two radar confirmed or at least confirmed tornado warnings across Arkla Tex elsewhere about four to five additional radar indicated tornado warned cells. Although this is projected to make its way into the Ohio River Valley, not necessarily for us here at home. The projections of model data keeps this to our northwest and sadly we won't see as much remnant moisture in the sense of rain as we continue on in through our Tuesday, Wednesday, further through Thursday. But we'll still see an increase in cloud deck. We don't have to worry about rain related activity right now. That starts to change though as we step forward into our Tuesday evening, a bit more spotty and sporadic in nature, likely developing showers and storms come Wednesday. Let's have the umbrellas ready to go for the middle stages of the work week. Good news is the bulk of this wraps up early Thursday morning. A stray shower possible in the afternoon, then a nice dry spell as we step forward into our Friday further into the weekend. How will things progress rain wise? Again, we can look at the outliers. The Ohio River Valley missing on the bulk of the precipitation, even though it's much needed across our region. A general quarter to a half inch is possible. Highest rain projections stay to our northwest across Illinois, or across Illinois Indiana into the southern and central extent of Michigan, at least at this stage of the evening. Rain totals can still shift. I'll keep you posted on that, but we miss on the jackpot whenever it comes into rain related activity. Another story I'm following. It's the heat. High temperatures already getting into the 90s. We're sitting just shy of it at the Wheeling, Ohio County Airport. At least it's comfortable outside. Dew point temperatures in the 50s, so it's a rather refreshing, at least whenever it comes into the mugginess. We don't have to worry about that, although it starts to return as we step forward and through the day tomorrow. Aren't I just the one of bearing great news, at least in the forecast period? If you like it hot, we had that today. Low 90s is where we top things off. Moving forward, we go. We could go through another mini heat wave, even as we step forward into our Wednesday. Three consecutive days where temperatures are at or above the 90 degree mark. We'll flirt with 90 on Wednesday. That could get it to us, but then we start to warm back up as we head forward through Friday into the weekend. Timing out rain chances as we head into Tuesday evening. We first see the tropical moisture in the sense of clouds mid to low lying as we step forward into our Tuesday. Then scattered showers, a bit more sporadic and spotty in nature, starting to develop as we head into the late day hours of our Tuesday. It turns a bit more widespread, but still scattered, often on variety showers and storms as we step forward into our Wednesday, starting to wrap up on Thursday, but I can't rule out an afternoon shower come Thursday. We see the sunshine starting on Friday. That stays with us into the week, and then the potential is there for another heat wave starting on Saturday, further into the beginning of next week.